about this hair, how I bleached it, customized it, and also some details on how this wig is treating me, then please stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is the package that my wig came in. It's a cute little bag, and the company name, as you can see, is View Fox. The bag do look a little beat up, but I'm pretty sure they didn't send it like this. It probably got tossed back and forth on a shipment through FedEx so this is their social media platform you can go follow them on viewfoxhair.com on Facebook Instagram and YouTube so make sure you go do that and that is pretty much it this is how the wig looks coming out of their packaging it came very secured with a net and also everything was in place and intact when it was inside that bag so let's get into details with this hair you guys look at the curl pattern look how beautiful it is it's very true to length and they also sent me some goodies they sent me a wig cap a netted wig cap that i probably won't end up using but that was very sweet of them and also they had sent me a spray bottle but i actually ended up losing that so this is the lace that is attached to this wig it's very very nice the quality of this hair is very soft and also the tag is just showing some directions on how to care for the hair and you know what you can do to maintain the wig so it still looks as good as when you first got it and the ends of this hair was very nice in place it was no shedding no tangling no you know split it ends or anything like that and so yeah this wig came with also combs to secure your wig it came with one in the back one on the side one in the front and another one on the other side as well so you know you can secure your wig in place with the straps and along with the combs so this is what the lace is looking like you guys it is very very transparent but you can always customize your lace to your complexion by bleaching the knots and so that's what i ended up doing so now i'm going to show you guys how i bleach the knots on this beautiful wig so stay tuned all right so now you need your bw2 powder you can get this from your Loki Beauty Supply Store. You're going to need a developer. I'm using the 30 developer in Salon Care brand. You're going to need a mixing bowl and a mixing brush. And also, you're going to need the Shimmer Light shampoo and also another shampoo of your choice. All right, you guys. So here go my wig. It's flipped inside out. I find it way easier to do it this way versus laying it down. However, you can... Bleach it the same way laying down. It should work just as fine. I got this mannequin head from the beauty supply store for $4.99. You're welcome to use any mannequin head if you'd like. And so I'm going to be showing you how to make this mixture bleach for your frontal. Okay, now remember we're just bleaching the front, not the whole entire wig. Okay, so now I am using two scoops of the powder and then capfuls of the developer. I'm not measuring anything, but I am just going as is. Like, I'm just mixing as how I would like it and how the consistency is, is what I'm going off of. Okay, you don't want to put too much and you don't want to put too little, so just get a nice consistency. So also you want to keep in mind that you don't want the liquid to be too liquidy and you don't want it to be too thick. So I'm just pouring little by little, just making sure 
I get the right consistency to start bleaching the knots because if it is too runny, it will run through your frontal and that's when you will bleach the actual hair. So we want it to be nice and fluffy, not runny like shown here. We want it to be nice and thick. So that's when I went ahead and added a little bit more powder just to get that right texture. So this is the texture that we're looking for. You see how it's getting like thicker and thicker? That's what we're going for. So just keep mixing until you get that thick texture and you should be pretty good to go. Once you get your mixture to the texture that it needs to be, you want to go ahead and get you either a popsicle stick, a butter knife, or you can still use the mixing brush. I use the butter knife because it laid it down way smoother for me. You want to make sure when you're laying down this mixture that you're not rubbing it in the lace. You're lightly pressing on it. It should look something like this and you want to leave that on for about 20 to 30 minutes with a foil or a plastic bag and you'll be good so to go. So the information on this wig, it is 24 inches, 130 density, and it is a frontal wig, okay? I bought this wig on a Sunday and received it on a Friday, so it had a four day shipping for me, which is really good. This wig was 175, but you guys, it is so amazing and I'm not even trying to just slice it. AliExpress have a lot of hair suppliers, but you want to be careful because you want to make sure you're getting your money's worth. Even though you're getting a good deal and some stuff is not legit legit, you want to make sure that you're at least getting your money's worth regardless if it was cheap or not, okay? So sis, let me just tell you that this wig was my money's worth. I love this wig. This is my first time wearing a frontal and it is absolutely amazing. The hair did come pre-plucked and also it came with a little bit of baby hairs in the front with a middle part. However, it is a free part because it's a frontal so you can part it on the side in the middle or you can wear it, you can wear your hair back however you please. All I use so far on this hair to get the curls back intact is water and the curls curl up beautifully. And I did a curl test. I did straighten a strand and then drenched it in water to see if it'll curl back up. And it did, so that is always good because you wanna make sure that, again, you're getting your money's worth. They do have a $2 coupon on their website that you can use to save two bucks. Even though it's two dollars, it's something, okay? I'm all here for saving money, so make sure you apply that coupon. The coupon is available on their page, on the AliExpress page. You just gotta search for it, it should be there. And the supplier was super sweet. She kept me informed from the time I made my purchase all the way up until the wig came. She let me know when my wig was being shipped and if I received it. Also, she just made sure that I was satisfied with my purchase. So that's always a good look on their end. And it's always good to have good customer service when you're ordering things from companies. So shout out to them for great customer service. Because when I did get the wig, the knots were a little dark and I didn't like that. So I went ahead and customized it myself. I didn't have to do too much plucking in the middle because again, it came already parted and it was plucked. And also it was kind of plucked in the front where the baby hairs were. So I didn't have to do too much plucking. Now you do have stylists that are pros at this and need to know like measurements and also, you know, sizes and how to fit your frontal and your closures because it's so many things to it you guys like you have to make sure it fits correctly and it looks good okay so shout out to all my stylists that know what they're doing when it comes to that because literally I was so nervous when I got the wig, I was like, oh my God, I hope I don't mess this wig up because I spent my money on this. I do not want to mess it up. It was my very first time and I am proud of myself. So pat on the back, pat on the back. Pat on the back, right? Because your girl don't know how to bleach frontals and that was my first time. So I did a really good job. I was just scared of the fact that I thought my frontal was gonna get over bleached and I thought that it was going to just go through the little teeny holes inside the frontal. But I followed my directions. You know, YouTube is always there for help. So of course I went on there to get some 
guidance because I needed it. So I honestly love this wig, you guys. This wig is fabulous. If that's even a word. Yeah, it's not. This wig really for real, for real. If you want to just cut the lace off and snap it on your head, then you can do so. People are very skeptical when it comes to AliExpress because they have some fraud not legit hair companies that will send you some messed up hair okay so it's like you it's a hit or miss and when i order off aliexpress i kind of order off of reviews and how many purchases that company has made so i try to go off of that and i look i make sure i look at the reviews now pictures I would say the pictures is not the best because I've seen some pictures on there. I'm like, no, this is this is not. The reviews and the purchases, I go off of that. So I did pretty good. They did really good. Communication was on point. Get into this curl pattern. This pattern is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, it is good for you know the fall, winter time, or summertime. I would say all seasons because I like wearing long, thick hair around this time. It's just it's like extra coziness. It's like extra. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm not gonna say fur because I don't. Want, I'm not wearing fur on my head, but it's just like I like having a lot of hair around this time because it keeps me warm. That's that's the word. It keeps me warm. You can add mousse. Now, when I did some baby hairs, I added the mousse to manipulate my baby hairs. Or you can use got to be glue, gel, but see that makes the hair hard. You can use got to be glue gel mousse or you can use a eco style, eco style gel. I would recommend those because they're more water-based. I wouldn't recommend no edge control. So the way that I secure the wig, I use the combs that came with the wig, I use the straps, and I also use some got to be glue in the black container. And I just simply did it little by little. I will do a more detailed video in the future on how I applied got to be glue and to secure the wig. So I just used the end of a rat cell comb and I put the glue on top and I just ease. I did section by section, I didn't just put it all around because I wanted to take my time to make sure it was right. So I put the um, glue, I put the glue on the wrap cell comb and I just add little by little and then I gently took the comb and I pressed against each section of the lace so that it can lay down. Now you have an option of blow drying it to quick dry or you can do both by blow drying and then tying it down. But I highly recommend that you still tie it down even though you feel like it's dry. That way your lace can lay flat and it's secured. And you should leave that on for about maybe 20 minutes. I left it on for like 20, 30 minutes because I was doing my makeup. And once you're done, you just wipe it off. I would suggest that you use a drenched wash washcloth and just like soak your lace. Ain't nothing gonna happen to it, so don't be afraid. Just soak your lace and then after you're done soaking it, you, you just slide it off. Don't rip it off, but like ease it off. Now, also you have an option of wearing a wig cap. A lot of days, people that wear funnels are wearing nude wig caps. I bought a wig cap. I wore it when I first got the wig, but this right now, I'm not wearing a wig cap. I feel like girls feel like they always have to have dramatic baby hairs and i think that's what scared me the most when it came to wearing a wig but i had to see for myself and customize things for myself now i would say do something where it looks natural that's the whole point of wearing a weave so it can look like your it's your hair right or close to your hair and i feel like with the baby hair some people go a little bit too dramatic with it but to each his own. I don't like the dramatic baby hairs. I just like simple baby hairs and that's it. Um, the baby hairs, what I would say is, if you know how to do them really well, it does cover the lace from where you cut it. So like that's a big, a big, big tip because if you don't really have baby hairs, you can kind of see where the lace is cut. If I've seen laces cut and I can tell it's the lace right there, but you can't really tell from far, but if you have like a few baby hairs in the front, you can't really tell it's a lace cut right there. 
So baby hairs are always good to have, but just don't overdo it because it makes it more obvious. And that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope the clips that I inserted was very helpful and useful for anyone that wanted to know how to bleach knots for beginners again that was my first time always take a chance and take a leap into faith and to slay on wigs honey okay because nothing is perfect shoe this wig it is the wavy brazilian pearl and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel welcome be a part of the love gang i'm all here for positive vibes positive energy and i'm just here to give you guys the best that i can give and as always be bomb be blessed be better but always be yourself see you guys in my next video